The 2023 Bermuda Games is the host to many of the best athletes in track and field. In this one competition, we have the opportunity to see athletes such as Noah Lyles, Christian Coleman, Abby Steiner, and also Steven Gardner from the Bahamas. These athletes are world champions, they're Olympic champions, they're national record holders, and we even have a world record holder. However, out of every single competition that is set to go down at this year's Bermuda Games, there is one event that really has me excited, and that event is the men's 200 meters. In this one race, we have a very special kind of history, as we have Andre de Grasse competing against Terence Laird, but also Noah Williams adds a very unique dynamic to this race. Now, if you'll remember, Andre de Grasse was the Olympic champion in 2021, running a very solid time of 19.62. This Olympic gold medal performance came after close to a decade of getting close to that gold medal, but he just wasn't quite able to reach the very top of the podium. However, after multiple global championships of winning silvers and bronze, Andre de Grasse pulled out the victory with a very great performance. Andre de Grasse is one of the best athletes to ever run during championship moments, and even though he hasn't quite found his footing in 2023, you can be guaranteed that as the season goes on, he is only going to get faster and faster. Now, competing against Andre de Grasse in this 200 meters is Terrence Laird from the United States. And I gotta say, seeing Terrence Laird return to the 200 meters is a very, very exciting prospect. Back in 2021, Laird was an absolute killer in the 200. Running for Louisiana State University, Laird ran some of the fastest times in the history of the collegiate scene, running a 19.81 during the Texas relays, breaking 20 seconds pretty much every time he hit the track, and then against Joseph Von Belay, he had one of the closest finishes in the NCAA Finals, falling just short of what would have been a tremendous 100 and 200 meter double, as he had just won the 100 meters just a few hours before this 200. However, on that day, he had to settle for silver against Joseph Von Belay. During his 2021 season, Laird's exploits at LSU in the 200 and in the 100 meters made him one of the best overall sprinters in the world. However, his collegiate season in 2021 was very, very long, as he ran during his indoor season and his outdoor campaign. So when the United States Championships finally came along, he just wasn't quite able to make it into the top three, falling just short of qualifying for the Olympic Games. However, his 2021 season was certainly memorable, as he achieved one of the most complete track and field sprinting seasons of all time. For the past two years, Terrence Laird has struggled with endless injury and racing difficulties. However, finally, we have seen him return to the track in 2023, running multiple 60-meter dashes indoors, and he also competed in this year's Adidas Atlanta Grand Prix, running in the 100 meters and showcasing solid speed against a very talented field. However, the 200 meters has always been his bread and butter, so seeing him return to the track in this event is a very exciting prospect. And also joining Terrence Laird in this 200 is Noah Williams. And the reason this is such a unique clash is because back in 2021, Noah Williams also competed at LSU. However, at the time, he was primarily a 400 meter athlete. And what's even more special about this dynamic is that at one point during 2021, Three athletes from LSU were ranked number one in the world in their respective events. Terrence Laird was the fastest in the 200, Noah Williams was actually the fastest in the 400 meters for quite some time, and also Mr. Jump's Javon Harrison was ranked number one in the world in the high jump for multiple months. Seeing these two return to the track at the same time is very exciting, and I certainly have high hopes for this 200 meter race. And also competing against these three is Elijah Morrow, Emmanuel Matadi, Kendall Williams, and Joseph Amoa. And with such a quality field clashing in just a few days, I am very excited about the prospect of them attacking the 20 second barrier, and also I'm excited to see just how fast they'll run on this day. Honestly, if Terrence Laird has his classic sprinting strength that he showcased to endless success in 2021, I think he might be the one to win this race. But we certainly have a very talented field against him. Emmanuel Matadi is also looking very strong. And again, Andre de Grasse always knows how to put a season together. So definitely keep your eyes on him. And now I want to hear from all of you. Who do you think is going to win this 200? Do you think Terrence Laird is going to show up for this 200 meters and throw down something very impressive? Or do you have an athlete such as Noah Williams or Elijah Morrow potentially pulling out this victory? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.